Hello Professor, I am Sudhagir Kalyana Sundaram. Today I am going to perform a hand-on distance with buffer overflow vulnerability as you are given. As you can go to this website and there we can download that file. Here you can see. You can see that uh, stack.c here. Stack.c is a vulnerable C program. The primary focus of this program is the BOA function by a critical buffer overflow vulnerability is intentionally introduced. The vulnerable function takes a string, str as an argument, and it copies into local buffer using the str cpy functions. Now let's see call underscore shellcode.c. It is a C program designed to demonstrate a classic shellcode injection vulnerability. Here you can see exploit c and exploit.py. Uh, I have used exploit.py. Uh, it is uh, the script is written in Python and the aims to create a payload to exploit vulnerable C program. And the modified content is written to a file named bad file. This file serves as an input for vulnerable C program, uh, triggering the buffer overflow and uh, demonstrating the exploitation of security vulnerability. Now let's uh, demo uh, demonstrate it. I will open and uh, see it. I have already opened it. I already opened it. I already installed the file, all the files you can see here. Uh, let's open the terminator. Yeah, let's change our directory. I just need the directory here. Let's copy our directory. You can change directory by cd command. I think so. It's in desktop and it's in part 2. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, directory has been changed here. Now let's uh, configure and disable ASLR. Let's do randomize. We check first. We check the what is randomization value. Yeah, as you can see, that the randomization value is two. So now let's uh, write the randomization value as zero. For that, instead of Q, we have to use W. And then we're gonna change into zero. Now randomization value has been changed to zero. Let's uh, symbolic link to ZSH thing bin. Let's check first of all what is the symbolic thing bin. It's in which format? Let's check first. Right. Then uh, we have to give that sudo under ln hyphen SF bin hyphen ZSH slash bin slash HS and then now if you check here again you can see that it will be changed. I've already done, done that. Now let's see our it's created or not yeah you can see that this has been created now let's uh, <coughs> compile and run our c shell for compiling and running that well dot e dev is null and FC nineteen says correct. Yeah, you can see here I opened C shell. Uh, 
can see here C cell is opened. Let's go for terminator. Let's compile it. G C C C cell dot C and then we compile in uh, the compiled file should be written in C cell. Yeah. Yeah, it has been compiled. Now let's check it. This is compiled. Yeah, you can see that C cell has been here. Now let's run our C cell. Let's check our ID. Yeah, we didn't get our root and the ID. So let's exit it. Uh, due to we didn't get root. Now first, first we modify our C cell because we didn't get root right. So let's modify permission for C cell. For modifying that sudo root C cell to modify our permission for C cell and the sudo one double five C cell. Yeah, I think so we modified our permissions. Now let's uh, see our C cell. Is that C cell? Yeah. You can see here C cell is there. Then let's uh, run our C cell. I think so. This time, root will be there. ID. Yeah, you can see here the root is there. Then let's exit it. Now let's uh, open uh, call C cell and modify our code. Yeah. Now let's uh, command the const call shell code to compile to command here uh, in dot uh, c. We can use um, slash if space zero into be command, and to end that command uh, we can use in def slash in def. Yeah, you can see that. Let's be command. Let's save it. Now, according to you, Professor, you are given a buffer size as a 64. So let's change our buffer size in stack.c as a 64. I will save that also. Yeah, let's open our terminator. Now, let's uh, compile, my, compile and execute my shellcode program. GCC. All underscore shell code. C and I will write it on uh, shell code one. Yeah, I'm compiling this and I write it on shell code one. The yeah, comparison takes successful. Let's run our GCC like uh, shell code. Code one try, yeah. Yeah, it's giving segmentation fault. Uh, compile and execute shell code by non executable stack. Uh, if I give non executable stack, then it won't be show displays a uh, segmentation fault. Is it all under? C. And I will save this file in maybe call shell code shell code two. Uh, let's do is in save it in shell code two. Yeah, let's check it. Yeah, shell code two is here. Now let's run our shell code two. Call shell code two. 
Yeah, this has been run. Uh, segmentation for all has been not shown up. So uh, this has been successfully compiled and run. Now let's create and exploit our buffer overflow by touch bat file. We we'll create and then let's check that uh, file. Bad file. Yeah, this has been the created. If I permission for stack and let's check it. Do sound root stack. Let's modify it and uh, after modifying uh, we will do for debugging four seven double five stack. <laughs> Yeah, I have modified the uh, stack. Let's even though let's check. Let's just modify. Yeah, I think so. Nine. Yeah. Okay. Now I will run my stack. Yeah, it's there. So let's debug it by this command stack dbg. Yeah, let's check our stack dbg here. Yeah, it's there as you can see here. Stack dbg. So uh, we got that. Let's and now in the gd dot slash stack underscore dbg. Oh, fine, I'm right. Yeah, underscore dbg. Yeah, you can see that it's been open. GDB is configured. Uh, now let's check it. <laughs> yeah, it's there. Good point. So that now let's run our program. I started to run. Yeah, as you can see here, it has been started in ninety seven. And uh, it has been there is no overflow, yeah. 8.1 is there, is there a copy? Yeah, no, then let's change that. We will find the value of buffer v by x and buffer. Let's find the value of it. Yeah, we have got the value of buffer. Next, let's find the value for EPB, EPB uh, v by s dollar. E BP. Yeah, we have got that also. Now let's copy a buffer. And paste it. Oh, sorry. Copy it. PPD space. Minus. GOX B. E. Nine three zero. Yeah, GOX B. Triple F E. Nine seven eight. GOX B. Triple F E. 930 yeah it's correct we got 72 yeah okay now let's uh open our sql.py file and then do our changes i think sql.py has not been opened let's go to files let's open our sql.py as here Let's open with sublime test. It will be easy to modify. Yeah, let's enter our buffer value here. Buffer equal to yeah, buffer is a term showing. So I just about buff. I'll do very easy. Yeah. Copy this. 
and then let's place it down here above. Now I copy my VP equal to nine seven eight, right? Yeah, I copy here. Let's I remove this red. I find for your offset. Offset is nothing but EBP. EBP plus by minus buff. Is this minus value? Yeah, minus buff. As they gave offset equal to 4, so we we'll put offset as 4. That's four. Now let's put our return address value. Return address value is let's check it. It's a uh, depends on our memory allocation. So let's check buff plus offset plus let's check for hundred first. And it's nothing but then a buffer will be in down. About that buffer is an EBP. The difference between EBP and the buffer will be in, uh, we got it there, 72. And the above buffer, there will be an NOP. And the above NOP, there will be an uh, uh, return address. So now we have to find the value which should be greater than NOP. For that, I am using the grade value for 100 now, and I will save it right here. Now, let's go to Terminator to run this. Uh, first, I open my second terminal split also only. Yeah, I open. Uh, first of all, check everything is here or not. Yeah, it's there. Uh, Now I will run my Python file. Sorry, Python three. It's exploit dot py. Yeah, it's Python. Yeah, <laughs> Python spelling wrong. P i t h y n three exploit dot py. I run it. Yeah, Python say it. Now let's see. Open a bad file we'll check it bad file and later do null and the yeah, bad file has been open here as you can see here bad file containing the bad file After that, let's check. Yeah. yeah bad. Let's bad for you. Yeah, it's been done. You can see here. Now, let's run our debug stack file. EBG. Yeah, it successfully run. There is no segmentation file. So, our return address is correct. So, I will exit this. Now I will run my tag. Let's check my ID. Yeah, you can see that we have been here zero and the vulnerability has been exploited. Yeah. It 